Hi, this is Rudy and Tracy from GoFitNow.com. Today we're going to show you how to do a squat, a body weight squat, and we're going to go over how to do it correctly and what are the incorrect ways to do it. That's quite common. We're going to start with the feet. So, you want your feet about hip to shoulder width apart. So find the front parts of your hips. Good. Run it straight down to the ground. And that's the most efficient way to position your feet like width-wise to work out when you're doing squats. Now, incorrect things that we observe, that people will go too wide, what else? Yep, the foot will turn out or both of them turn out wide. It's rare that you see the toes turn in, so make sure your feet are straight. Now, let's see, a dancer may have super mobile or hyper mobile hips, so let's turn them out nice and easy. Now, if someone's like that naturally because of all the years of ballet or dance, it's going to be really hard to bring the feet into correct position so they may want to slowly work their way in there. Okay, the next angle we're going to look at is the knees. The knees, the knees obviously will be nice and straight in line with the hips. Alright, Tracy's going to start to squat. Good, up and down. Now, what happens a lot of times with the knees is they will come in, especially with the girls. And the way you can get around that is just tighten the muscles in your bottom and your thighs. So squeeze them as you go up and down. So this is correct. Yep. Good, and rarely, sometimes you'll see knees going out as people squat, especially the guys, more common than the girls. All right, now let's look at the lower back hip. Now we want the natural curve in the spine. So let's over arch, there you go. This is common, do you wanna move your arm out of the way there, Trace? Yeah. Yep, so we can see better, good, there you go. Now over round it. Now this is really dangerous, I see this sometimes when uh, people are squatting and it's too heavy or they're uh, trying to lift the weight off the ground. So the natural curve is stop right there, show us. So gently overarch and then round and then go halfway between the two. Okay, neutral, does that feel comfortable? Yeah. Good, all right. Arms down so we can see what's happening with the shoulders. What happens with the shoulders? Squat down and hold. Okay, show us, that looks good. So she's got them down and back. Now let's do it incorrectly to show what happens. Yep, people may hunch or if they're really tight in the chest, what happens, they round. And you can see they hunch up top. All right, neck. Neck and head, good, hold, that looks nice. Natural curve. Now, let's see what's really common is people will stick their head up in the air because they've been told to look at the ceiling or the corner. The problem with that is it's gonna put a lot of pressure right into this area here where you may even slip a disc. All right, and tuck your chin in. Okay, that one you don't see quite as often, but you know, someone's staring at their feet because they're trying to keep it straight. Let's do some variations now that we know how to do it correctly. Okay. All right, just do some normal squats. So you could say level one, hands by the side. We're not using any weights except body weight. Level two, hands out in front, shoulder width. Notice the thumbs are pointing up. Level three, let's do prisoner grip. Okay. Level four, shoot the arm straight up. In line with the ears. Good. Good, nice and easy. Now down and hold. Now, what's really good is if you can align your shins to your torso. So lean back a little bit with that, Trace. Okay. Okay, good, so we're a little more, so they're running parallel. She's just about got it there, good. All right, level two with the arms. Good, level three, prisoner grip. Level four, overhead. Good, now notice she's got the good flexibility in the shoulders, so she can have her arms pretty straight and they're running near the ears. Let's have a look at this angle. Now later, if she wants to make it harder, she can start holding some hand weights. What we'd like you to do is try that, and if you have any questions or you want to give us some feedback, just uh, go to gofitnow.com and send us an email.